I'm a, I'm a, right, I'm a, I'm an English. exhausted too my computer just told me it wants to update oh um, no. so please no me one second okay i don't think it'll do it automatically so i think we're good sorry go ahead what was i gonna say oh yeah hello uh this is the triad <laughs> we're spooky but sensitive i'm hannah i'm shannon i'm shelby what was oh, i gonna say Lord. the whole intro right yeah. okay do we have listen any it's been a week I know. it's been a week um I have the Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer in my coffee right now. Ooh. So I'm very happy. And I just mm-hmm. ate a muffin that was chocolate chip pumpkin. Pumpkin chocolate Ooh. chip, I guess. Yeah, we went myself. to... We woke up late and then went to that bakery that we go to all the time. Mm. And then came back here and watched Bell's Burgers until you were ready. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so, pretty good morning so far. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be easy breezy. Uh, let's just start. Yeah, let's just get, get it over well, with. No, let's I just do, do it. Say real quick. Um, one, I mean, Bleh. this is just a Sorry. personal thing. We had to put, well, they had to put my sister's cat down this morning. And he was 19 years old. And <laughs> Rest in peace, um, Sonny. Yeah. Yes. Um, he's been Allie's best friend since she was six. So oh, poor she's Allie. having a rough day. But, yeah. <laughs> but it, we knew it was coming and... It was one of those where, like, he had a stomach tumor and then his kidneys were failing. And, like, earlier this week she was even saying that, like, picking him up, he was starting to, like, curl under like it hurt him. And that was, yeah. And so, like, that was the point. She was like, you know, he's not eating. And for a while she was like, you know, he's not eating but he's not in pain. But then in the past couple weeks it seemed like he was in more pain, so. Poor baby. So, yeah, she's gonna get him cremated and keep him in a little box just like we keep Teddy in a little box. So we're going to have multiple animal shrines now across our family home. So, yeah. Well, at least they're not a happy birthday bag, just like no, Diva. they're not a happy birthday bag. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. Diva. Um, but yeah, uh, she also has to get elbow surgery in like two weeks. So she's oh my not going to that either. sister is but... an old man. I was going to say, Allie's had a rough <laughs> She's had a rough weeks. couple weeks. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, congratulations, yeah. Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Souza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. My yeah. sister, keep it on the DL. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're putting it out on a podcast, but it's, they got courthouse married, but they're going to get wedding married later. They just mm-hmm. needed to be married for- Wanted to get courthouse married. Yeah. Reasons. Um, well, they put it on social media. I feel I like we're allowed to- I was going to say, it was on yes, Facebook yes. and Instagram, yeah. so like- right. I think we're allowed to talk right. about it if they put it on social media. <laughs> no, I know. She's just like, just don't, like, don't, like, make a scream big deal it. about it. Do whatever. Like, yeah. But they were very it. cute. Yeah. I watched yeah. their two-minute ceremony and sobbed. I was like, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, yes. She left cool. school as Miss Farley and goes back on Monday as Mrs. Souza. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. They're camping right Anna, now. What That's are all. we? Or is it in your research folder? Yes. There's. Okay. Oh wait, no, I took it out. I'm right, but... gonna tell you oh! right now that I am not going to be on the PowerPoint because I have a migraine. So I'm gonna sit here with my eyes closed, but I am listening and I will interact. Oh, Shelby, it's a 37 slide PowerPoint. Why wouldn't you okay, want to be? On I will. That? <laughs> I'll pull it up. You might but... actually want to look at some parts of it, but don't feel pressured. Yeah, but if I don't, if you don't see my little icon move, that's okay. why. <laughs> that's why. I gotcha. will pull it up, though. And if there's a part that, like, I really want to look at, or you really want me to look at, let me know. Okay. <laughs> um, so today, we are going to talk about boogeymen from around the world. <laughs> So my sources are pretty much all Wikipedia. I did go to one site, which I am very afraid might be a white nationalist website, so I'm not going to cite it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though. It's just the title was very... It had some some overtones that I was a little afraid of. I was telling uh, Shannon the other day that, like, there are certain websites that, like, 
they'll be pulled up on my phone or whatever and I like have to get out of them as soon as I'm done using them because I don't want my phone like on that website even in the background just because yeah. it like freaks me out and I know it doesn't mean anything but like I don't want like Scientology to see that I was on their website for like more than two seconds <laughs> yeah and yeah so I don't yeah yeah. I don't have that concern. Anyway. <laughs> well, I just don't want them to get money for um, any advertising that they may mm, yeah. accrue. Um, okay, let's talk about boogeymen. Boogie okay. mans. Boogie people. <laughs> um, boogie people. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't have a good week this week. I, like, totally, whatever, fucked off and... Anyway, so I was like, let's do something easy. And then I started the Enfield Pol- Well, first I started the Enfield Poltergeist. I was like, that's too many. That's too hard. That's yeah, too that's much Yeah, that's a things. lot. <laughs> um, so then I was like, what's something that's Halloween? And I was like, the boogeyman. And then I looked it up and it was like, here is a list of 5,000 boogeymen. And I was like, perfect. Here we go. Um, <laughs> so that's why my slide, my PowerPoint is so long. is because I talk about a lot yeah. of different ones. Um, so the boogeyman, also sometimes called... And these are all spelled different. The boogeyman, the boogeyman, the boogeyman, the boogie monster, the boogeyman, or boogie woogie, <laughs> or the sack man, is hey. a mythical creature that parents use to frighten their children into being good. Um, so that's kind of what separates it from any other kind of monster or mythology. Uh, it's that specifically the boogeyman is used to keep children in line. Mm-hmm. Um, so they differ from country to country and... Uh, you know, mythology to mythology, clearly. But for the most part, when we talk about boogeymen, it's some sort of, like, sack monster thing that comes and steals you in the night and takes you away (laughs) because you're bad. Um, So the term boogeyman sometimes... Wait, quote, the term boogeyman is sometimes used as a nonspecific personification or metonym of terror, and in some cases, the devil. Um... (laughs) Which they had capitalized, which is why I put sick in there because I'm an I'm a I'm a right I'm a I'm an English. Um anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> so Shelby, I want you to make I want you to make a um a theme song for any time we talk about etymology. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put you it's on that. Very often. Yeah, it is. So etymology t- in my notes it says etymology time, Shelby ma- Shelby, make a song about this. I love it. Okay. Um I'll get so on the- that. Please do. I will wait with bated breath. Um, Yes. The word boogie comes from the mid-19th century as kind of like a quasi-proper name for the devil. And it might be from the Middle English word boga or booga, which means terror or scarecrow. And then bugabear, which is another thing that the boogeyman is sometimes called, is from the word bug, which means goblin or scarecrow, and bear, which was an imaginary... A demon in the form of a bear that ate small children. Um, And the same with the word bugaboo, which I thought was a term of endearment until today. And now (laughs) it means something completely different to me. (laughs) What does it mean? (laughs) It means the fucking boogeyman. Oh, okay. (laughs) I thought it was like, oh, you're a cute little bugaboo, which to me was like a little, like, it made me think of like a ladybug or something cute. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, you're the devil that lives under a child's bed. Yeah. I yep. literally said, Maisie's been, like, super itchy today, so I thought there was a bug on her, and so I, like, looked her over, and there's no bug, and I told her, like, hey, there's no bugaboos on you, so I think you're okay. And, obviously, she's a dog, so she doesn't know what any of that means, but... <laughs> <laughs> there's no demons on you. You're good. Yep. No bug is on you. Um, sorry, there's a whole so itchy, fleet though. of motorcycles going past my window. As always. Um, <laughs> all right, so next slide. Um, in many, quote, in many countries, a boogeyman variant is portrayed as a man with a sack on his back who carries naughty children away. This is true for many Latin countries such as Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, Paraguay, Brazil, Portugal, and Spain, and the countries of Spanish America, where he is referred to as El Hombre de Costal, El Hombre de Saco, or in Portuguese, Omene, Ome, Emma told me how to say this, uh, O Omenen do Saco. Which, all of those mean, like, the bag man or the sack man. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, he's a child stealer. Um, think of, like, Krampus. Krampus is a mm-hmm. bag man or a sack man. Okay. Um, so, in some places... Oh, why didn't I write this down? Oh, in places like South America, Spain, Brazil, and Portugal, 
Um, it's also called the Coco or the Coca. Um, and it's the same thing. It's just kind of a bag man. Uh, sometimes it is a female, but not always. Anyway, but it's a monster that comes into your house and takes away your bad children and makes them disappear. It's reverse Santa. Is that, <laughs> reverse uh, Santa, yes. What the, that one like Christmas episode I did last year. Yes, they Iceland. were in here, but I left them out because you already talked about her. Yeah, because oh, she, like, the... put them in bags, right? The and, like, Icelandic yeah. Gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. The Icelandic okay. elf gnome peoples. <laughs> yes, yeah, I left the... Iceland. Yeah. When we talk about all the different countries, I left a couple of out. Specifically, I left out Iceland because you already talked about all the things that were in yeah. the Iceland version. And then also I left out pretty much all of the Slavic countries that had Baba Yaga because... I feel like we're going to do Baba Yaga someday. Like, someone yeah. is going to do Baba Yaga. Yeah, as between its own me and thing. Hannah, Baba Yaga is going to get done. Oh, that bitch will get Does done. Don't you worry. Her chicken leg house, it's, we're coming for it. <laughs> yes. Um, I have almost bought a shirt with Baba Yaga on it so many times. <laughs> what were you saying, Shannon? I feel like that's on someone's dib list, but I can't remember who. It, I, I know it's, it's on, on one of ours. It's one yeah, of Yeah, I think two. it is on mine. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Um, but I left her out because she's in, like, everyone's, like, Ukraine and uh, Poland and Russia and literally yeah, everyone she, over like, there. Yeah, she, like, her own she, episode. Yeah. She has taken over. She has different names in those places. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty much all the same one. I think I mentioned Romania's, the, or is it Romania? I can't remember. I mentioned somebody's Baba Yaga, but whatever. We'll get to it. <laughs> um, Okay. So then there's this thing called Babo, Babao, Babao, yeah, Babao, which is like the Mediterranean version. Um, I'm not going to read any of this because now that I look at it, it's not, a, a lot of it is not in English. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but here is a, what is this from? This is from a Italian rhyme. And the English version of it is lullaby, lulla, wait, lullaby, lulla, oh, who do I give this child to? I will give him to the boogeyman who is going to keep him for a whole year. <laughs> um, so their boogeyman. I would imagine that the, sounds better in Italian. <laughs> yeah, it does. It rhymes and shit. But <laughs> Luomo Nero is the, I, don't, I said that like it was Spanish. I don't know Italian. Um, but uh, it's like, so, okay, I'm just going to have to bring this up now. Another one that I left out a lot of was um, the Black Man or, like, Black Pete or all of that kind of stuff, you mm -hmm. know, because it's, like, vaguely racist European nonsense. Um, a lot of the times it doesn't necessarily mean, like, a black person who's a bad guy. It can mean, like, someone who hides in the shadows or whatever, mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah. it doesn't mean that. Sometimes it's just racist. So I left yeah. that out a lot because they're not interesting and they're all the same trope. Um, I tried to get into the like, really interesting sort of boogeyman. Mm -hmm, uh, yes. But anyway, uh, this boogeyman, Luomo Nero, is, doesn't eat or harm the children. He just takes them to a mysterious and frightening place for a year. Um, and then lastly, the Germanic version is the Buziman. Yes, Buziman. Um, which we will talk about in detail in a moment. Okay, next slide. So the first country we will talk about is Albania. The, the and I only added this in that here is because a terrifying it cracked. Picture that is actually of a hydra because I couldn't find the other one, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, um, like that is clearly from the Odyssey. Um, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but the first one, I I'm sure it's pronounced Booba, but I want to say Bubba because I think that's so much funnier. <laughs> it's a serpentine <laughs> yes. monster, and mothers would tell their children to be quiet, or Bubba would come get Booba would come get them. But can you imagine your mom be like, "Y'all shut your mouths, or I'm gonna get Bubba to come up in here"? <laughs> <laughs> like that's all I thought when I read that. I love that. There's also the Gogol, which is a giant that frightens children into being good, um, and then the Lubia, which is a female demon with an insatiable appetite for the flesh of children, especially girls. Um, she has many heads, and just like. A hydra if you cut one off um more will more. grow in its place yeah. so that's why i put that in here gotcha uh, okay and like i said these are going to be really short next one we're going to azerbaijan are we, um, going so in alphabetical in <laughs> we are going in alphabetical well for the most part there are some that are just like stuck in for fun mm -hmm. and then yes shelby's <laughs> aunt and uncle what did she Azer say her aunt and uncle live in azerbaijan oh cool well then they can 
be afraid or scare their children with the div which is a hairy giant it's the ones who are in chernobyl right now oh Oh, shit i really hope they bring us back something like a haunted doll or (laughs) maybe some like classified soviet uh papers i would be really doll is more likely i'll just say that (laughs) or like a keychain a keychain maybe a keychain radioactive keychain think you need to adjust your expectations here huna <laughs> maybe they can go and scoop up a little bit of the elephant's foot just for me i'd really appreciate it um maybe not <laughs> okay listen a girl can dream right <laughs> all right so in Az- azerbaijan um the div is a giant hairy giant why did it <laughs> get confused is a hairy giant that eats kids but in um a folk tale this boy hero named Jertdan, i probably said that so wrong and i apologize to every country in the world for what's about to follow um see this is why he... wikipedia needs to have phonetic translations okay anyway yeah i rest my case um but he he defeated it somehow I didn't read the fairy tale. Um, okay, next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's something on this one. Skipping to Belize. Um, so Tata Duende is a short goblin <laughs> with a beard, wrinkles, and backwards feet. <laughs> oh, God. I hated that part. Okay. I know. Wait, wait. It gets worse. He wears oh, a large brimmed hat and has no thumbs. What? He, Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. He has no opposable thumbs. He can't get out he of just, the cage. Ha. He just doesn't have thumbs. <laughs> Uh, he's a protector of animals in the forest and is invoked by parents to keep their kids out of the jungle at night. But I really okay. do think that if I were a kid in Belize and, like, my mom was like, yeah, there's a thumbless man with backwards feet in the jungle, <laughs> I would be like, yeah, I'm never going in there again, mom. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, that would be really effective at keeping me out of the jungle. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, All right. To be fair, next... I don't really have any desire to go into a jungle in the first place. But I mean, <laughs> day or night. <laughs> yeah, this would be a better. This would be a good deterrent if that desire ever did come into my head. <laughs> yes. Which it would not. Yeah, when shit, and then suddenly becomes an outdoor person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's... this is the one Baba Yaga that I put in here. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Shannon. No, I was gonna say there's like that. I don't remember if it was a tweet or a TikTok or on Tumblr or whatever, but it's like, if I go missing and they find me on a hiking trail, you'll know that something happened to me. <laughs> right? <Seriously. laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, if somebody says they last saw me hiking, you know that they're lying. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're or full of shit. Shannon doesn't even know how to get outside. around no, the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i can literally tell you the last time i went on remotely a hike and it was when i was visiting hannah and i fell on a mountain so <laughs> oh my god like three really? years ago two years i like ago. walk but i don't hike <laughs> that's not a thing that i do and when you do hike you fall down the fucking mountain and when mountain. i do hike i fall <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look too slippery <laughs> that doesn't look too bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> she literally bounced it was insane. I did. Okay. Yeah, I thought I hit my head. It was bad. <laughs> I was like, great, she's dead. <laughs> uh, we've told this story before. Yes, Let's we have. Um, I think anyway. the last okay. time I went on, like, a hike-type thing was when I lived in Japan and went up Mount Fuji, and that was the worst experience Ew. of my life, so yeah. never I'm going on a hike on Saturday. I'm going on a hike this evening. No. You guys are wimpy babies anyway i, Look, I like to explore <laughs> so I just do i like i have fat girl asthma <laughs> i just don't like hiking i just don't i like to explore like forests and stuff i just don't like to like go on hikes i'm the type of person who like i want to go and like walk around a lake but i don't consider that like a hike Plus, when she yeah, does go on hikes, hike. she doesn't take trails and, like, risks dying every time. So, like, oh, that's really true. Want you, you like to hike, like, how my mother hikes, which is, <laughs> we don't need a map. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really allowed to go on hikes because yeah. I will get lost oh and my phone will run out of battery and I'll probably, like, end up in quicksand, <laughs> even though that's not, like, a thing. And, uh, yeah. So and then we won't even know to look the for only her quicksand there pit. because she doesn't usually hike. <laughs> I am. Um, They'll be like, I check every bookstore. Botanical store. gardens yeah. a lot, though. So yeah, it's fine. Anyway, let's yeah, move on. <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. So this is the one Baba Yaga that I left in here. Uh, this is from Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, and North Macedonia. So like I said, pretty much everybody has one of these. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. She's called Baba Roga, which is 
Oh my god, I'm throwing up. Like Baba Yaga, um, Boogeyman, Boogie Lady, whatever. Um, and this, it differs from household to household because it is an oral tradition. So uh, the only thing that... Oh, hold on, my microphone's being a dick. Um, the only thing that <laughs> carries over... Sorry. Is that the story always has a menacing hag who hunts, quote, irreverent children. Um, and oh. she catches and eats naughty kids. Right. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Next yeah. Great. slide. Okay. Oh, okay. Brazil and Portugal. So uh, there were a couple um, that we just talked about. Brazil and Portugal are a little Okay, a, let me... A little dark it, it, there. It's Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah. Uh, so now I will read you a text message from Daniel, who is from Brazil. Um, <laughs> I asked Emma to ask him about their boogeyman. And he said, that's a kid's scary story. The guy puts children in don- that don't behave inside the bag and don't bring it back. <laughs> so anyway. I love it. Spooky. I love that. As fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so there's also, besides the one that we talked about, which was Omen de Sacco. Jisako? I don't know. I'm so sorry, Daniel. Um, there's also... Oh, God. This is going to be so bad. Biacho Papau, which is called The Eating Beast, or uh, it's also called Saranoko. Saran... Saranoko. Yeah, I said that right. Um, which is yeah. the deep-voiced man. Um, so Ooh, while... Like while the bagman Omen de Sako is a daytime monster, the other one is a nighttime menace. <laughs> You're never safe. Um, I know, you're never safe in Brazil. <laughs> and uh, the, the sack man usually just kidnaps kids who go to places without their parents' permission. So if you, like, go to the woods or you go to, like, whatever, a building you're not supposed to be in, it'll come and get you. But the other one is, like, a traditional boogeyman who will hide under your bed or in your closet or on your roof uh, and scare Ew. children. Gross. All right, let's go forward. This is where it does not stay in alphabetical order for some reason, but this is how Wikipedia had it, so. Um, in Inuit mythology, there is the Ijar... Oh my god, I practice how to say this. Ijark? Which Ijark? is a shape-shifting... Sure. Yes. Rock. Because it's a... it ends in a Q. Ijark. It's... I'm making that like up. A... I don't actually you... know how to say that, but... That's... Is it like a... Shouldn't it be like a glottal stop, though? Oh, probably, yeah. That's what, like... That's so hard to do without a, like... Without second, knowing the language. <laughs> or without a, like, syllable after it. But yes, yeah, yes. It's like... Anyway. It's like... We say Iraq wrong, but it's the same thing. Iraq. Yeah. It's like a... Like, way It's in the like back. in your throat. Yeah. It's not I like a hard K that. sound. Um, anyway, it's a glottal stop. It ends in a Q. It's whatever. Uh, so the Ijarak... <laughs> <laughs> is a shape-shifting creature that kidnaps children and then hides them away and abandons them. So it'll, like, take you out on the ice and be like, goodbye! <laughs> you live here now. That's the one with the horns. Okay. Um, and sometimes Why is children the one can... with the horns, like, less terrifying than the other one on this Oh, slide? I hate the other one. Uh, you'll wait till we get to the other one. Oh, um, God. But it... Uh, children can sometimes convince it to let them go, and when they do, they use a um, an anukshuk stone to find their way home and that's kind of like a like a man made like a like a cairn like a man-made stone structure that they can use to find their way home okay Um, so then there's also the (sighs) kalapalik which are human-like creatures with long fingernails green skin and long hair that live in the sea they're kind of like evil mermaids sort of um and they're freaking terrifying. I mean, all mermaids terrifying. are evil, but they're, like, very I was scary. I say, traditionally, mermaids aren't exactly good. <laughs> no. no, no, no. Mermaids are bad. Yeah. Always. But these are, like, double extra evil mermaids. Great. <laughs> um, so they will go these and take like babies. They look like walking, like, corpses with shark eyes and teeth. They look like and the girl no from noses. the ring. And no noses. Yes, they look a lot like the girl from the ring, but, like, also part dolphin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> They uh, go and take babies and children out of their mother's um, amuti, amuti, which is like that parka pouch thing, Mm -hmm. um, if they disobey or wander away. And then they bring the kids to live with them underwater, aka they drown them. 
Yeah. So they'll put them in their own MOT. They'll like put them in their. There's another picture that I almost put on here of them putting the baby in their pouch and then just like jumping in the water. Oh god, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, it's so no, scary. That is me and Hannah's worst nightmare. Okay. I hate it so much. All right. Anyway, moving on. So the next one is from Egypt, and this is basically like an on fire mummy. <laughs> um, cool. Called Abu Rigel <laughs> Masluha which is the man with burnt skin or the man with skinned leg. And it's a, yeah. quote, very scary story that children tell their parents when they mis... Or children tell their parents. What, that parents tell their <laughs> children when they misbehave. Um, the monster got burnt as a child because he did not listen to his parents, so now he grabs naughty children and cooks them and eats them. Cool. But you can see, like, his leg is all gross and mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah. That's great. Why? Why is this a thing, like, worldwide that parents are just like if you don't behave someone's gonna take you and eat you because parents or children are assholes in every culture and parents got frustrated that's all i got i mean and they're like how can i make you shut uh, up yes a man will come how can i traumatize my child they didn't believe in trauma (laughs) trauma's not real who Yeah. All right. Trauma. They need to know that they might get eaten by a demon if they don't behave. <laughs> right? God. How else are they going to learn the ways of the world of shutting up? <laughs> Listen, we're not going to name you till you're 10 because you might not live. Also, there's a man under your bed. Now go to sleep. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. The next one is my absolute favorite, and I'm not going to give you any context. So I'm just going to now read you a list of English boogeymen. Okay. Oh, Just gosh. their names. You get okay. nothing else about them, except for one person. <laughs> All right. The first one is Odd Goggy, which is spelled A-W-D-G-O-G-G-I-E. Then cool. there's Spring-Heeled Jack, oh, the Gooseberry that. Wife. Yeah, I know that one. This is a picture of Churn Milk Peg, but her male <laughs> counterpart is called Melsh Dick. Uh, <laughs> there's Tom Dawkin, who has iron teeth, Black oh, Anise, yep, Mum Poker, Tanker a Bogus, and Tom Poker. <laughs> Great. They all That's have all. such funny names. They're so British, it hurts. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, <laughs> we was walking through the orchard and old Goggy came to kill us. <laughs> oh my gosh. And from what I can discern, I will give you one piece of context. Odd Goggy is like a big caterpillar, maybe? I'm not really, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, this one I could find, like, no information on except for, like, this TV show slash comic book. Uh, but there's this thing called the Muru... Oh, I don't know. What what does that say? How do you say it with an oobot, Shelby? Oh, God. I I don't know. What is it? Okay. I don't know. There's two oobots in this and I can't be bothered. It's the um, M-O-R-K-O. Morocco? Morocco? H- Morocco? Morocco? I, I can sure. kind of do oobots in German. I don't know how they would be in Finnish, though. Uh, anyway, it's it like a big similar, but like, dark blue ghost. <laughs> yes, the Morco, but yeah. just imagine there's umlauts everywhere. Yes. Um, <laughs> sprinkled with umlauts. Uh, it's a dark blue ghost creature that's kind of shaped like a hill and has scary teeth and sh- It looks like Cousin and... It. Yeah, that was what it I was going It does look ask. like Cousin it, it. Cousin It. Yeah. But if you look it up online, all, you, all that comes up is like this other thing from a comic book that's... It's supposed to be a girl, too, I think. I don't know how you would... Whatever. It's supposed to be scary and horrifying, but to me, it's like... If you look it up, it looks like the... What's the what's the purple thing from McDonald's? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember It's the, the purple name. thing from McDonald's. Yeah. The... The purple monster guy? Hang on. The Grumble Bumble? I don't know. I don't remember his name, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna well, say the hand really burglar, like... but that's 100% nope. not correct. Purple McDonald's guy. Thank you, Google. What, what's his name? Grimace. It's like Grimace. Grimace. That's Grimace. it. Grimace. Yeah. It's Grimace. Grimace. Yes. <laughs> Except blue. I love that. Um, yes. All right. The next one. I don't know what this is a picture of, but this is what happened when I Googled this. Uh, so in <laughs> France, it's called the Croque Mitten, which means the mitten biter. That's all I know. Uh, Moving okay. on. <laughs> he I looks also like... like how in your notes it says mitten bitter. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like one of the um characters from Paranorman. Oh, the he does. Guy. Yeah. He looks yeah. like a skull with a wig. Yeah, that's what the guy is in Paranorman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's such a good movie. I love that movie. All right. 
Now we'll talk about the Schwartzmann, which is the black man, which it doesn't necessarily mean black as in like the color no. black. It can it can mean like as in a dark hiding place, like a yeah. closet or under a bed. Schwartz means black in German, but yes, yeah. but like all of those Germanic countries have a Schwartzmann, which yeah. is like okay, guys, branch <laughs> out. You and Baba Yaga just take. Oh my God, what if they were in love? <laughs> Write a short story. I'm gonna do it. Baba Yaga and Schwartzman are just like making out in the woods. Oh, so cute. And then they eat some kids together. <laughs> it's a love story. Oh, it's a love story. Um. Anyway, there's this game in Germany called uh, Wer hat Angst vor Schwarzenmann, which is who is afraid of the black man, <laughs> which mm-hmm. sounds so problematic, but. Whatever. Um, there's also a song called A Biba Boogeyman Dances Around in Our House, which, if you want to click that YouTube link, it's really cute, actually. <laughs> you could just watch, like, the first, like, 30 seconds. It's just, like, it's really, it's just a cute little kid song. I'm opening it. Well, I got a Verbo commercial, so give me a second. Yeah. Are we finishing the song or what are we doing? <laughs> uh, no, I was just, I love it. I was just listening okay. to it. <laughs> it's Tansa, I'm Bimbutsum. Whatever. It's cute. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I claim to speak German, but I don't. Um, okay. That's all. The Butzerman is like, it's like a little gnome thing that comes in your house. And uh, mm-hmm. if you're good, it will give you an apple. I don't know what it does to you if you're bad. But <laughs> maybe it takes you home in the sack that he brings like... the apples in. You're good. Here, have an apple. <laughs> Pretty much. You are a good child. You might, you may have an apple. All of you other little shites will get into my bag and I will take you to the woods and kill you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's talk about Greece. So in Greece, they have these things called the babulas, which are boogeyman that have no chill. And like the parents <laughs> of Greece aren't, they don't give a shit. They're like, if you're bad, the boogeyman will come and eat you. Period. Go to bed. Like, <laughs> they, other people will be like, you know, if you're naughty or if you keep doing that thing, blah, blah, blah. But Greek parents are like, he will come and fuck you up and I'm done talking to you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this is from that website that I was afraid of that was suspicious. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Haiti has a boogeyman called the Metminwi, which is the master of midnight, and it is, quote, depicted as a very skinny, two-story tall man who walks around late at night and eats anyone left on the streets. Um, And it's Uh, supposed to keep Haitian children from going outside at night, which, fuck that. I'm... (laughs) Yeah, if they told me that thing was walking around outside, I would never... I mean, I don't leave the house anyway. I would leave the house even less. Why is it two stories tall? That's as tall as mine and Shannon's house. Because fuck you, that's That's why. That's not necessary. No. No, it's not, but Haiti did it. it. Right. All right, Haiti, you do you. (laughs) All right, this next one is my absolute favorite. So, in Hungary... (laughs) (laughs) Don't say anything. In Hungary, there are two regular boogeymen called the Mumus and the Jacos Ember, but then there's this thing called the Rejfaju Bagoli... Which literally means the owl with the copper dick. I, I, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does, like what the what the owl does to you. But it's a giant owl with a giant human dick that scares children out of the forest. I think just having the dick is enough to scare children out of the forest, personally. Why is it copper? I, That's what you're worried it, about? <laughs> I don't know, but it is I mean, just... I'm worried about all of it, but, like, why is it copper? <laughs> it just sounds heavy. Why not? The owl with the copper dick. <laughs> it's... That scares you out of the forest. Again, why, the hungry? Fuck? You're hungry? Like, don't go into the forest or else this giant owl with a copper dick is gonna get you. Hungry has no chill. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, we said it. <laughs> That's our bookie man. <laughs> why? 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 I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that's not the other one. And only one that has crazy genitalia. We're gonna get to some more in a minute. Fantastic. Oh, gosh. Alright, the next one. India has a bunch of boogeymen. Um, the most 
spooky one to me was uh, the Shaitan, which is kind of like a Satan ghost djinn thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's also sometimes called a Baba or a Boot. In, uh, so in Urdu, it's called the Shaitan, and then in Hindi, it's called the other one. Um, there's also a demon that's like a it's kind of means it just means like terrible man, which is that guy with the dog. I I don't know though. I feel like that's that that was just what popped up when I googled it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like a terrible, it's like a bad guy who will come and eat you. Okay. Um, but anyway, anytime you misbehave in India, something bad and scary, like either some kind of demon, jinn, or just a dude, is gonna break into your house and kidnap you and eat you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not only if you misbehave; it's also if you don't sleep. Which, well, once you have told this to your child, they're not going to sleep. Right? So, <laughs> and also, like, if you have insomnia, it's, uh, I guess, fuck you. Rude. Yeah. yeah. So Shannon would have been eaten by... Me and Shannon would have been eaten as literal babies, so I guess. There we are. Yeah, there was one that I took out that does eat literal babies, but I didn't understand her purpose. Uh, she was, I forgot what her name was, but she was from, she was an, uh, Afghani ghost witch hag, it said a nocturnal (laughs) hag, and I was like, hey, it's me. Um, (laughs) But she just, like, killed babies in their cribs, and I was like, why, why is she, she can't be a boogeyman if she's killing babies because she's not scaring children into behaving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's the whole point of a boogeyman. Yeah. So I took her out. Is to... Maybe she's just, like, a old school explanation for sids or something right well she like violently murdered them like oh never mind then i don't know weird <laughs> huh yeah Maybe and like parents like would burn weird would like burn not like a directed at children's story sort of thing it's more of a like old wives tale folk tale type of thing yeah because parents could then burn um the seeds of the wild wild what was it wild row plant i don't know um to ward off the spirit so i was like but that makes it seem like it's not a boogeyman because it's not controlling children's behavior it's just adults are doing things yeah Yeah. so i took it out yeah Yeah. fair Uh, jesus christ sorry (laughs) okay next is indonesia where we have the way way gumble which is probably my favorite (laughs) she's Look at her boobs. boobs hang <laughs> she, is, to it from. she is wearing her boobs like a uh, like a shawl. Like a like a shawl, yeah. yeah. Um she also has hooves and maybe vampire teeth, it depends. Um and she's actually kind of a reverse boogeyman. Uh she takes children away who are mistreated by their parents. Oh. So she's like real plot twist. Mm-hmm. Um But once the parents realize what happened and once they realize that they have uh, sinned or whatever or like mistreated their kids and like try to try to fix the situation she takes the kids back um, she also treats them very well she leaves them on top of a palm tree and uh, kind of treats them like she's their grandmother um, so she's like a cool boogeyman yeah um, interesting she's, she's nice <laughs> I like her <laughs> and her and like her, snake boobs her scarf boobs they're literally so I don't understand they're so long <laughs> um, okay Anyway, the next one. I couldn't <laughs> find a picture for this one, but this popped up for a different thing, so I put it on here. Um, <laughs> oh my god. It's a picture of Nigel Thornberry's face on uh, Ash, Ketchum. Ask, Ash Ketchum's face. Anyway, this is from Iraq. The Salu is a half-witch, half-demon ghoul, um, which to me was three different things, but whatever, <laughs> that was used to scare naughty children. She's... Uh, mentioned in A Thousand and One Nights and that's all I know about her. Thank you, goodbye. Next. Okay. In Italy, we already talked about the l- 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 the black man. Um, <laughs> which is a demon Lonero. that can appear as a black man or a ghost without legs uh, and often used by adults to scare children when they don't want to sleep. But there's also this thing in Sicily called the Marabecca, uh, which is a malevolent water spirit that lives in wells and reservoirs, and if kids play too close to either of those, they'll drag the children down to their death. Hmm. Okay, but why does the one have, like, chicken legs? I don't know. I don't like it. I mean, Almost I know it's all to of keep these them are... from, like, 
playing near a well because you might fall in, but like they'll snatch you. Um, yeah. Almost all of these are people's deviant art drawings. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I was noticing that. <laughs> you know, I love a good deviant art drawing. There's not a whole lot that I could do. Some of them don't have pictures. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, the next one. Okay. Your face. Yes. So in Japan, there's a thing called kami kakushi, which is a phenomenon as opposed to any sort of character. So it's just really any kind of boogeyman in popular culture. Um, that's what I gained from that reading that I did, but I'm not entirely sure. I might be completely wrong. Anyway, here's uh, no name from Spirited Away. No face. No face, that's what I meant. LOL. <laughs> He's my favorite. I want to get a tattoo of him. Do it, do it, His do little it. mask. Um, Alright, so let's go to Lithuania. So, uh, Baobas are evil spirits with long, lean arms, wrinkly fingers, and red eyes. They harass <laughs> children. By pulling on their hair or stifling them. I don't exactly know what they meant by stifling, but that's a big no for yeah, me. Yeah, that can mean a lot of different things. Right? Is Does that, that like mean suffocating? Like, or are we just taking like... Taking you out? <laughs> you're not allowed to be creative. I'm stifling you. Yeah. All yep. right, the next one's pretty fun. Um, in <laughs> Luxembourg... So cute! I know, except wait until you hear what it does to you. Oh, God. Um, there's a couple of fun ones. There's uh, De Belsi Mani, or the evil uncle. There's De Kropaman, or the hook man, and De Boa, which, or uh, De Schwarza, which is, you know, the black man, mm -hmm. um, because Europe. Um, but the hook man, uh, De, Kromp, De Kropman, lives in the sewers and uses his hook to catch kids by the nose when they get too close to the drains. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why their nose? <laughs> because fuck you. I don't know. Um, but it's very much like Pennywise the Clown, except he's got a hook and he can like reach you. He looks like a beaver. He does look like a beaver. Also, his this is toes a statue are of like... Yeah. Look at his toes. They're like icicles. Yeah. yeah. They're weird. Um... So anyway, the the other two are just, like, regular boogeyman. Like, if you're not good, the evil uncle will come and get you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the black man. So since you mentioned anyway. Pennywise, would Pennywise be considered a boogeyman? I don't know that story um, super well. Pennywise but... is a demon. Okay. Pennywise, no, because Pennywise isn't like, stay inside or Pennywise will get you. Pennywise is like, I'm gonna fuck with these kids until they're adults. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just wondering. I yeah, don't no, Pennywise is watch just any a of demon. that. So. <laughs> All right, let's go to Malta. So the caca or the gaga is a gross, gray, slimy thing that roams the streets at night. Um, and if you're guilty, it can smell you, and it'll squish its way into your house by squeezing through cracks or fissures in your walls, Ew. and like expanding and sure contracting itself like a, like a snail. There's like a DC villain that's based off of this. Oh yeah, Sandman. Uh, maybe or... Sandman? Or, it was in Teen Titans, it doesn't matter. I don't know. But, uh, once it gets into your house, it shows you its grin, which is, like, huge and toothless and scary, and it will scare you senseless. Yeah, nice. makes sense. So, don't be guilty. Of what? Okay. In Malta. Or just generally, or? <laughs> just generally guilty. You must be a perfect little angel child. Yep, exactly. That's all. Who knows, would your Catholic guilt make you a good candidate for... I would have been Targeting born you? dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's never going to Malta. I'm never going to Malta. I'm too guilty. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> because you know I'm so guilty for the thing I'm doing today, but I can't say on the air. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, let's look at like the poll. I you need to unpack that a tiny bit, because it kind of sounds like you're I didn't to murder, murder a man. <laughs> I am just she, playing she, hooky. She's she called a mental out health of day. work for a mental health day. I'm taking health a mental health day. It really is a mental health day. I had a breakdown. And you really on shouldn't be feeling guilty for that. I was gonna Shannon. say, like, I know, but I'm not actually bad. guilty of anything. I know, I know. Yeah, just the way you said it, like, it sounded like you were actively planning on committing murder today. <laughs> anyway, there is someone tied up in my basement, which I have to deal with later. <laughs> Oh my goodness. They've All right, let's go to the mushrooms that grow on the stairs. <laughs> yes. They, those are covered in dirt. Like, they're really dirty right now. My mushrooms are so dirty. <laughs> they're oh really gross. Goodness. It's a disaster down there. Um, okay. <laughs> let's go to Nepal, please. Okay. 
Okay, so this is Guru Mappa. It's an ape creature that enjoys devouring children. That's all I know. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of, it's hard to see in the picture, but it kind of has like a lion's head with like kitty cat whiskers, but I'm not <laughs> entirely sure if that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but it has sharp teeth. There you um, go. Anyway. That's all you need. This is great. Yep. Uh, so the Netherlands has black peat, uh, mm-hmm. because obviously, but yeah. they also have Boken Rid Deers, which is buck riders, and they are ghost thieves who ride flying goats. Oh, that's fun. That's what I want to be. Look at them go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one really freaks me out. So Pakistan has something called um, Mama, which I couldn't find a picture because if you Google Pakistan Mama, that's... You get... It just shows moms from Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's literally just like moms and babies from Pakistan. Yeah. I was like, this is not what I want. Um, but it's, quote, a large ape-like creature that lives in the mountains and ventures forth to kidnap young girls. He will carry them back to his cave where he licks their palms and the soles of their feet, which makes Ugh. them permanently unable to flee. Hell. Isn't that so gross? Ew. He licks your hands and your feet and then you can't move. You can't, like, gross. you can't move. That's so gross. freaking gross. I don't like that. So maybe it's good that I couldn't find a picture. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In Panama, there is um, La... Oh, God. Tui Live Vieja, <laughs> which will come and get you if you're naughty. Um, so she's kind of like La, La, La Llorona mm-hmm. um, because God punished her for drowning her children. So she became like a hideous monster. With a pockmarked face, long bristled hair, claw hands, a cat's body, and hooved feet. And... Have I ever told you uh, the very mean story of what we did to our one coworker who was terrified of La Llorona? Yes, you did. No. <laughs> you told oh, me. Oh, <laughs> um, Okay, first of all. <sighs> okay, so um, when I worked at the store in the mall before I moved here... Um, we would get like the Funko Pop figures in and they made one of La Llorona and, um, we had a girl who was working there, Celeste, who I love and adore. She is so hilarious. Um, but her family is, uh, from Mexico and so she like grew up on stories of La Llorona and she is absolutely terrified and she's like Celeste is cursed like has been since birth like we all oh, know I think it you were telling she knows me about it. her curse yeah um and so like she very much believes in La Llorona is terrified of her blah 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 and so she was gone for like a weekend and it was during that weekend that we got the pops for La Llorona. And so uh, she was one of the managers and she was scheduled to open the day that we were supposed to put those pops out. (laughs) And so they put one like in the manager's drawer and then like in the safe. And so basically like every place that she has to open to open the store and so she was like sending out snapchats to all of us of her like screaming every time she like found one and she was like i'm going home now i hate all of you this is terrible this is the worst day and she took it very well like she's she's the type of person that like we can do that too and it's totally fine but she was like i hate this so much you guys are so mean i know (laughs) Uh, she took it really well, but, like, <laughs> it's just funny. It was funny. Um, she would have <laughs> done the same thing. <laughs> no, she would have done the same thing to all of us, okay? Like, she's that type of person, but it was, that's just what we did, because we were like, oh my god, we got these, and we have to prank Celeste with these, so, <laughs> you know. Anyway. <laughs> we're terrible anyway. people, that's fine. <laughs> yes. So La tu- Tuili Vieja has to forever look for her children. And if you go out at night, she'll get you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Why is oh, John God. like that one weird Spider-Man cover? With his butt completely <laughs> yeah. parted? Is that? Hold on, I'll find the thing I'm thinking of. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so this is the Bodoc, uh I wrote this in dialect, but now I hate myself, so I don't know if I'll read it. 
Um, he's from Scotland. Uh, there's a he will come down your chimney and get you. But I wrote, he'll come down your chimney and take you, little wank stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I oh, love right. it. He's so gross. He looks like a goblin, but also he's naked and like. Yeah, why is he in he's... that pose? I don't like that. Look at my butt cheeks. <laughs> I mean, look at my butt cheeks. <laughs> Not necessary. His, his, he's so <sighs> wrinkly. He is. It wouldn't be better if he wasn't, to be fair. <laughs> Just I mean, a really no. smooth goblin. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Do you I prefer know your this... goblin smooth or wrinkly i know this won't mean anything to you guys um but if anyone has ever seen the anime attack on titan he looks like one of the titans i have seen clips of it yeah um but there's like a specific one that he looks like and so that's just anyway it doesn't matter um so let's talk about serbia and the bauk which is an animal-like myth- mythical creature uh, described as hiding in dark places, holes, or abandoned houses waiting to grab, carry away, and devour its victims. It can be scared away by light and noise. Good. Um, so if you look carefully in that picture, you can see the bow. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go to South Africa where people are fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this is a tokoloshi. Uh, which is a dwarvish creature that can be conjured by a uh, sangomas, which is a traditional is a traditional healer. Um, it creates mischief and frightens children because for fun. It is a small, muscular, hairy witch familiar that usually that has an unusually large penis. So that's what that is in the front there. Oh god! Um, and also, <laughs> sometimes it will assault women in their sleep. Good. So actually assault them for fun. Good. Um, Good. And Great. then this is a this is a headline from 1955 that says Tokoloshi stops church service. I didn't read any further into that, but I'm sure it's a good story. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's something. I wonder if it like ran through the church with its big pee pee and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Look it up. Next is Switzerland. So the Swiss, who you know are historically quite passive, uh, do this shit to their boogeyman every April. <laughs> um, nice. In Zurich, people burn an effigy, 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 what the fuck, effigy of winter in the form of a boog. I don't know. There are two O's next to each other, with umlauts, and then two G's. I don't know. Bo- boog. Sure. Boog. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Um, which is a masked cr- character that frightens children. So anyway, fuck that guy, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe it they really burned him to like. They you know. t- it's to like welcome in the spring. It's like hooray, it's spring. But then right, also it's, it's like also fuck you, like... boogeyman. But yeah, it's probably a like we're gonna burn him so that we have like a peaceful year or something. Eh, I didn't really read that far into it. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> in Taiwan, uh, Hukopu who is the tiger grandmother, will fuck your shit up if you're bad. But she's so cute. She is so cute. That was the cutest picture I could find. All the other ones were, like, kind of creepy. Yeah. But that one, she looks so sweet. She has, like, a little kitty cat ears. That's how she gets Yes. Her. But she but called come get ya. All right, let's talk about Trinidad, blah, 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 blah. Trinidad and Tobago. What uh, These really freak me out. I don't know why. Is Are those her nails? Yep. Um. So this is a jumbie. And they're nope. the scariest things I've ever seen. Nope, no, no, thanks, fuck that. Uh, they are used to scare disobedient children. And I would have been a really, really good Trinbagoian child. I don't know, I tried to put that word in there, but it's not working, so fuck it. Um, so basically, if you were evil in life, you could become an instrument of evil in death. So oh. a jumbie. Um, and unlike other ghosts, they're not, like, wispy and mysterious. They're, like, there, and they will get you. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a different... There's a couple different types of jumbi. There's the Saukoent, which is a blood-sucking hag. The Lagaho, which is a shapeshifter, like, werewolf. Another one, there was another one in there, but it didn't have a description. It didn't say what it was. It was just the name, and I couldn't find any more information on it, so I left it out. That's fair. And then there's Peppa Boyce, which is, like, the forest protector spirit. Okay. Um, but they're just really freaky, and I don't like it, and voodoo scares me. Um... That's all the end. Next. So last but not least, good old USA. Um, not really. (laughs) Fuck us. 
But let's talk about a couple of um, things from the States. So the first one is the Jersey Devil, which again, one of us is probably going to do at some point. Uh, It's a horse head demon kangaroo flying monster baby, (laughs) which... (laughs) Tell me I'm wrong. Go read about it and tell me no, I'm wrong. No. Oh, oh you're no. right. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> like, uh, I am right. correct. Um, so it might have been real, or it might have been a hoax to get people to sell their properties at lower prices. Who knows? <laughs> um, the other one, so the one with the girl who's holding the candle, is called Bloody Bones, also yes. called Rawhead or Tommy Rawhead, is a southern boogeyman. He ain't got no skin on his head for even to bite y'all and take his skeleton to what done dance yonder with him. Anyway, <laughs> um, so. Beautiful. Thank you. Tommy Raw Head doesn't have any skin on his body. Gross. Uh, so like it's just that. like a meaty skeleton. Yes. Um, but sometimes it's just like a like a like a skinned head that will bite you, and then sometimes it's a skinned head that will bite you that's accompanied by a dancing skeleton. Great. Cool. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Um, then there's the uh, Nasula Falaya, which is the long black being and it's a ghost of Choctaw mythology uh, which is described as a spindly humanoid that can slither like a snake or become a shadow which that for some reason creeps me the fuck out can you just imagine a person like snaking away from you it's like Mm. when um when the Grinch does it in the like the original animated movie I don't remember that okay well anyway the Grinch does it but imagine it as like a real human being Mm-hmm. Nope, don't like it. Yeah, I hate everything about it. Um, and basically, it's used to keep kids from staying out in the forest too late, and also to be witch hunters. Or you can't be witch hunters apparently, so don't go outside at night. Oh, and then there's another one that ends in a glottal stop. So here we go, Sipalak, which is God, I butchered that. I'm sure, or the Chebl- Cheblaqu. <laughs> I don't know. It ends in a W K W. I don't know how. Qu- so it's a dangerous bird spirit of the Wabanaki fo- folklore. So, aka a bad bird boy. Um, <laughs> you got to listen to your parents or this giant owl with it's pretty much only its head and talons are visible when it comes at you. Um, will just scoop you up and get you. Um, it has an unearthly cry and it just looks like a big spooky owl. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it. that monster has a couple of different variations in other tribes as well. Um, so that's all I got for boogeymen. Um, if you want to, you know, damage your children, (laughs) go ahead and tell them these lovely stories. And, uh, yep, that's it. Cool. (laughs) Okay. I guess I, I, I don't think my parents ever told me about, like, a boogeyman or anything like that. Uh, we had the book... Um, shoot, I have to look it up. That one, that German one where the, you get your thumbs cut off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you suck your thumbs. And that had another, that had another monster in it, like that a boogeyman monster. Struffle Peter? Something yes, like that? Yes, Struffle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I know I've like, I had read that book as a child because we lived kid, in Germany. But like, I don't remember my parents ever like telling me about any sort of like boogeyman or anything that would like come and get me or anything like that. My dad used to say if we were bad at school, we'd go to the chokey. Well, like your, from Matilda. That's a grandma very used your to dad him. thing to do. Your grandma used to leave him in an orphanage, so like that's true. He's <laughs> for what happened to him. He's a very well adjusted person, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> well, to a point, Dad, you know what you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think my parents ever did a boogeyman, but like I didn't sleep anyway, and right. they knew we weren't gonna leave the house ever. Right. Like my version me, of the so. boogeyman was uh our feral cat that we had that would attack me as I like wandered around the house in the middle of the night and my parents were like that's good enough to freak her out. <sighs> <laughs> well, I was so. also just afraid of our house cuz you know it was haunted. Well, yeah, so. you lived in a haunted house. I just yeah. had a demon cat, so. Yeah. Well, Emma used to talk to dead people in yeah. our German mm-hmm. house. Hmm. So yeah yeah so we all just like freaked ourselves out it's good yeah we're fine that's why we have this podcast yeah yes um (laughs) (laughs) all right uh our ending is that we have no ending goodbye goodbye (laughs) don't look under your bed because yeah (laughs) (laughs) bye bye
Thanks for listening to The Triad. Our music is by Scott Buckley. Our audio is recorded by our sound engineers, Craig Bott and Audrey Credo. If you like the show, please rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, YouTube, and Tumblr as The Triad Podcast. We're also on Patreon as The Triad. Currently, all Patreon funds will go towards the cost of hosting the show. Each tier has its own rewards, but every patron receives our undying gratitude. Do you have comments, questions, or stories? Email us at thetriadpod at gmail.com. And thank you again for listening to The Triad, where we're spooky but sensitive. <laughs>